Safari Moab. Great backdrop to ride the new Honda Africa Twin. So the bike comes in two forms. We've got a parallel twin, fully manual like this bike here, and then we've got an automatic. Now the automatic is very clever. It allows you to ride off-road and on-road. You've got different settings. The bike holds gears longer so that you can accelerate harder between the gears in automatic. So it's a very intelligent motorcycle. Biggest difference is of course you lose your clutch lever and you also lose your gear lever as well. That takes a lot of getting used to because I'm an old school motorcycle rider and I love using the clutch, I love using the gears on my feet. So it's really taken a bit of getting used to. So without a clutch, you do end up with a parking brake. That's kind of quite strange too, but you've got all these different modes. You can override all of that and go to fully manual, even though you have the auto bike. So you end up just shifting with your finger and thumb. The shifting is super smooth in auto, so it does have benefits. Where it doesn't work is it comes with extra weight. All of that turning mass, the, the bigger clutch, all of those things inside the engine adds around about 23 pounds to the bike. And I personally really did feel that, especially on the off-road. But here we have the fully manual motorcycle and I have to say, I absolutely love it. We've been doing all kinds of things with it today. Really, really technical stuff some deep sand, some washouts, some ruts, rocks, drop-offs, you name it, this bike has handled it. Really, really brilliant. So the bike's a parallel twin, 999cc, so just under the litre class. The engine has around about 95, 94 horsepower. It's really great off-road. It's like a big dirt bike. I've been absolutely loving and enjoying my time off-road. The suspension is brilliant. You've got nearly 10 inches of travel, so you've just got bags and bags of ground clearance and the bike will clear almost anything. Of course, off-road you're going to get dust and that can affect the engine. So Honda have designed a really awesome airbox, which comes with two paper filters. They're easy to change, easy to get to. You don't need to take all of the gas tank off to get to them. Keeps the engine really fresh. The bike comes in around about 511 pounds here with a fully manual. Then, like I said, you've got an extra like 23 pounds there for the auto. Really great connection between the throttle and the rear tire, allowing you to slide the bike and control the bike as you want. It does come with traction control and it does come with ABS. I turned both of these off for the off-road so that I can really ride the bike the way that I want. But you do have those options if you want to keep the ABS on. But when you turn it off, it really just changes the rear of the bike. It doesn't change the front. So you still have ABS on the front, but then you can actually lock up the rear, you can steer with the rear, you can skid the rear and help the bike turn. So a really nice little feature there. Now Honda have built a completely new motorcycle here and the special bit for me is the engine. They built this amazing parallel twin. It's got only one cam, a Unicam, and that's derived from the CRF450. So that allows the engine to be smaller using just one crankshaft, reduces the height, reduces the width, so the engine stays really slim. They put some of the heavier items at the back of the motorcycle using that space, so you haven't got this high weight, you've got it really low down right where you need it, especially with this bike having such great off-road capabilities, you need the weight low. So the engine comes with a 270 degree crankshaft and that allows the firing order to be very similar to a V-twin, giving the engine time to recover, the rear wheel time to recover, and it really works off-road, really awesome. So the engine's got two balancer shafts and those power the water pump and the oil pump. So that's really amazing, keeping the engine really, really integrated, making use of all moving parts and keeping the engine slim, fantastic. To help with rolling mass, the front brake rotor, the center of the rotor is actually made of aluminium. So that makes the rolling mass lighter, easier to steer, easier to handle. Again, works really good off-road. You've got a 21 inch front wheel, 18 inch rear. Now these have worked really well. The front handles the off-road brilliantly. We've been hitting all kinds of stuff. The front wheels had no problems just rolling over them. So suspension wise, off-road, super capable. Loved it. On-road, a little bit on the soft side, I felt. You do have some adjustment from the show suspension here, so that's quite easy to change. And then on the rear suspension, a very simple preload adjuster, easy to get to on the side of the bike. 
I love the way that the bike's been made so slim. Feels very light, especially when you're stood up on the pegs off-road. You really feel like you can throw this bike around. I've been really able to kind of get a lot of confidence through the days riding this bike, allowing me to slide the bike and do what I want with it and put the bike where I want it to go. So the bike comes with panniers, top box, so if you want to get really adventurous, it's pretty easy to do. And they're really nicely integrated into the design of the bike. So even when they're not on, it doesn't look like they should be there. And when they're on, they look great. It comes with two different screens. This is the smaller one. And there's also a taller one. The smaller one gives you clear vision straight over it, bit of buffeting to their face. The taller screen, no buffeting at all, but you do have to look through the screen. There is some slight distortion as it, there are with all screens. Mirrors uh, well positioned, I could see behind me no problems. Tall bars, just underneath the handlebars here there's a rubber. That soaks up even more of the vibration, making it really easy on your wrists, on your arms, on your elbows. I've had no fatigue at all in riding this bike for a couple of days, that's been pretty awesome too. So for those of you who are interested in the auto, you must be interested to know how does it feel? Well, it's very similar to a car. The way that a car shifts, the way that a car feels, it is super smooth. I think if you were a passenger, you would love the auto. It goes through the gears effortlessly. There's no jolting between gear changes. So you'd be no banging of heads, which is always the worst thing for a rider and a passenger. What I didn't like about it is sometimes when it shifted when I didn't want it to shift, it'd be in a higher gear when I wanted to be in a lower gear, but you can override that quite easily. So it's not too much of a big deal. So if you're the adventurous type and you love trail riding, take a look at this bike. Seriously, you're gonna love it. It comes in at under 13 grand, which I think is a steal. And overall, the Africa Twin gets the thumbs up. Superb.